Don't need to worry about dirty things Cause beauty's waiting underneath Raise your head cause the sun is So today I'm going to show you how to make a bunch of different bracelets. I did a video like this last summer and I will leave that link below, but you seem to love it. So I came up with a bunch of new ideas this year that you can stack all over your wrists. They're really easy again to make and use a lot of the same materials. So let's get into it. So here's just a quick overview of some of my supplies. I've got all my beads, I've got my jewelry making tools, some scissors, embroidery string, uh, some leather rope, other cording here, and also some of my metal fasteners and charms. So first, it's our bangle bracelet. This is just an old bangle I have, and we are going to give it a revamp with some of my embroidery strings, some jump rings, uh, you'll need your tools, scissors, and also some glue. So starting first with just a little dab of glue on the embroidery string, attach that and fasten it to your bangle, and then you're going to wrap it all the way around the bangle, and do it as tightly as you can. You can add a little bit of glue along the way just to make sure it stays fastened and in place. So once you're finished, wrapping your bangle then you can open up a bunch of those jump rings and clamp them closed around the bracelet it just kind of adds uh, a little extra movement on the bracelet and a little extra bling on it as well definitely you don't have to do that uh, we're also going to add some of these little tiny tassels so I wrapped some of the embroidery string around my finger and then made sure that that stayed in a loop took a jump ring wrapped that around all of the strands and then you can cut off any excess and we're going to make the little nub that goes at the top there for all of those tassels just simply by tying a tight knot around the top there and just trim off all of the excess and you've got yourself a little tiny tassel that we can add there's so many and they're so cute and actually really easy to make so I made a couple for this bracelet and then all you really have to do is open up that jump ring and attach it to one of the other jump rings or you can just attach it directly to any bracelet that you have made so our next bracelet is super simple, wish bracelet, scissors, hemp, beads, and also some tape. So grab three strands, knot them all at one end, and you can tape them down to the table. Then you're going to begin braiding, um, and then once you get about a third of the way in, you can start adding beads. So add a bead to the center, and then you braid the two exterior strands cross them over, continue braiding, add another bead to the center strand, cross the two exterior strands around the outside, and just do that for however many beads you want. I did five. Uh, once you're finished, just complete a simple braid at the end, knot it at the end, and your wish bracelet is all done. This is a friendship bracelet. You need some very thin wire, uh, a larger bead and some very small beads, and then also some embroidery string. So take the embroidery string, you're gonna double it up and wrap it definitely around two lengths around your wrist, knot it at one end, and then on the looped end, you want to slide that folded wire over top, and it's going to act as a needle for threading on your beads. So thread on a small white bead here, like I've done, push it all the way to the end where that knot is. Then you're gonna add that slightly larger bead. So then again, you're going to slide on all of your little tiny white beads. Uh, I was a little off camera for that, but that's what it looked like when it was all done. And before you finish this bracelet, you're going to go back and take that wire and bring the bracelet back through that larger bead. So it's going to create kind of a slip knot here. Add one extra smaller bead, knot it off at the end, and then you can trim off the excess. So when you're making these, you want to make sure that you can actually slip that whole thing over your brace, over your wrist because then you can pull it tighter once you've actually got it on your wrist. They're so easy to make and lots of fun, uh, lots of colors, so I made a bunch of those. Here's another quick bracelet, a couple jump rings, some small beads, embroidery string again, and this is some stretchy jewelry cord that I'm working with this time. Make sure you have a length that will fit around your wrist, tie a knot off, and begin stringing some beads on. You can do this with any size beads and any kind of pattern you want. Once you've made the entire length to fit around your wrist, knot it, then knot those two together. And I mean, that's just a simple beaded bracelet that you can make. Just to add a little punch to these ones, I again made some tassels and attached them with a jump ring. 
So for the final bracelet, I've got some lobster claws, also some metal beads. These are uh, bead tips with the clamp on the bottom, which is key. And I've also got some a leather cord here and a, you'll need some pliers. This all came from the dollar store, believe it or not. So this is a wrap bracelet. Wrap it around your wrist, measure it out however many times you want it to go. Then you can add those metal beads to the end of each leather piece. This is just, um, you know, adds a little extra weight, adds a little bit of glam to this plain bracelet and you want to make sure they're metal so that you can clamp those down so they don't go anywhere. Then that uh, that beaded tip with the uh, clamp on the end, I'm attaching it to one of my lobster claws. As you can see, I'm just pinching that close. So now those two are attached and I will now be able to attach that to the leather strap. With the other one, I'm just pinching that close and now we have that little hoop there where our lobster claw will be able to attach. So I wanted some dangly pieces. Where I'm pinching there is where I'm going to add these uh, bead tips with the clamp on the bottom there to my bracelet just simply because they had that opening you pinch it around the leather strapping and it will stay in place so the idea here is you wrap it around your wrist and then you can clamp those two pieces together i just thought it'd be better than tying a knot because that might come undone don't need to worry about dirty things because beauty's waiting underneath raise your head because the sun is high bracelets some of them take a matter of minutes to make so have some fun with them and send me some photos when you're all done love to see what they look like you can just follow me on instagram and on twitter at janelle steeper and then use the hashtag 2diy4 if you tag me in any of those photos if you've enjoyed this video and maybe you want to see me make some more bracelets i'm sure i could come up with some new ideas let me know give me a like and also don't forget to subscribe because next wednesday i'll be back with a new diy cheers whoa this is like no mistakes. Yeah.